Could be. I didn't say it There's will be. No way the Colts are going any worse than than maybe twelve and four or twelve and five. No, no. See, and I I feel completely differently about the Colts. I think the why Colts the Colts are so good. And, and and the best part about the the Colts, because I'm with you. Like I would, I was like, look, there are a lot of better options out there than Carson Wentz for the Colts to go and get, but they ended up going to get Carson Wentz. He's back with a coordinator who he did well with before, and they've got the best offensive line in the NFL. They've got a very hungry defense. They've got a decent run game. They've got the pass-catching running backs that Carson Wentz needs to be successful. They've got the guys who can run routes like Carson Wentz needs to be successful. I I think that all signs point to... The fact that they're going to be really, really good, especially in this division. And plus, not only that, but the fact that they don't really play a tough schedule. That's another thing that adds to the fact for for the Colts. I don't think that there is any way they are worse than 12-5 and five this year. I do, because Carson Wentz, there's no way Carson Wentz stays healthy for 17 games. And he, uh, Carson Wentz is not he, a good quarterback. Why? If Carson Wentz is getting it, Carson Wentz is never going to be protected as much as he's protected in Indiana. I, 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 I agree. Yeah, the, the, he's ever seen. I, I was going to say, yeah. I, I, I'm not, I don't argue that. But when he gets hit, he's a China doll. You know. Yeah, but there's. I, and, but, do and you see him getting hit often this year? Well. Yes. Really? How? Because every quarterback gets hit a lot. Yeah, but uh, man. Yeah, but I don't I think know. Part of the reason why he's been so injury prone was because of the offensive line he had. I mean, uh, other than Jason, you know, he he had a decent offensive line in the Super Bowl year, but before that, I mean, the, the offensive line was the same guys they had, but just different. They didn't play the way that they played that Super Bowl year. They were insane that year, and when they were play, when the offensive line was going crazy, when Lane Johnson was at in his the peak of his prime. When Jason Kelsey was in the peak of his prime, Jason Peters, all of them were healthy and at the peak of their prime. You just named three Pro Bowl linemen that he had. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying when he was at the when they were at the peak of their prime, he succeeded. I mean, he took he took a weird shot diving in the end zone and tore his ACL. It wasn't even his fault. He dove in the end zone. Two people clacked on his leg. His knee bent. Like there's no that that's just a freak accident. There's nothing you can do about that. It wasn't like he was running in the open field and it just shredded and he fell down. Like he was just he, he just had an odd hit and it tore. But the last time that he had a dominant offensive line like that, he succeeded. He he had, he won what eleven out of thirteen games, something like that that he played. Except in. his head coach, his head coach didn't even have the confidence to get him back in there over Jalen Hurts. Oh no, Doug Peterson's an idiot, but. But that's another thing, too. <laughs> but, Doug, but, Doug, but Doug Peterson was the head coach when they won the Super Bowl. Well, but Frank so, Reich was running the offense. Yeah, but so Nick Foles was the quarterback when they won the Super Bowl. <laughs> this is also true because they wouldn't have got there with Carson Wentz because he's not that good. Oh, come on. They would have gotten there with Carson Wentz. They were that, really good that year. That, that year, Carson Wentz was on fire. That guy should have been the MVP of the league that year had he not gotten hurt. He yeah. was literally second place in MVP, in, 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 blah, in MVP voting. And he tore his ACL before the season even ended. He didn't play like four weeks, three, four weeks, something like that. And he tore he tore his ACL with three or four weeks and still finished second without playing like four games. So he was he was off of the hook that year. It was crazy. Yeah, 